guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a menu just like the menu you see in Nico's next spot. So, I'm going to do the old menu with the play button, the options, and the patch notes. Uh, not the credits though because, well, yeah, this is a tutorial, not with your friends if you, if you want, but... Yeah, so first you want to put screen GUI and star GUI. Next, you want to put a frame. After you put the frame, you want to make the size. This, you want to do one, zero, one, and this, then comma, this, one, zero, one. And I'll put that in the description if you don't understand. So next, you can change the background color. I'm going to change it to like blue because I can. And now I, so now how they did it is they went to their Roblox, they went to their Roblox and they saved their icon image. Then they added the, uh, where is it? Image label. Then they put in the image right there. So the, they went to create decal then they put in the png and then they pressed upload their icon to the decal they you say png now you can name it whatever i just didn't name it now you want to put you want to copy that with control c and then you want to control V into here, and now you have the icon. You can change it, uh, the background to have no background. So that's what I'm going to do. So next, we want to put a text label. And then do your game's name. I'm just going to say uh, Nico's Next Spot. Next, Next Spot. There you go, Nico's next spots. You want to press text scaled, rich text, and then have it whatever you want. I'm going to do dank one, dank, 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 dank one, whatever it is. Okay, dank one, I don't know, dink one. I'm just going to say dink one. <laughs> now you want to put in the free buttons. So with the free buttons, you want it to be like here. This will be the most important button. You heard that right. The most important button. It's going to be the play button. Uh, same here. Text scaled. Rich text. And you can do a different font. I'm just going to do the same. And then I'm going to change the color. Let's change it to like a reddish. Reddish. There we go. And then take away, take away the background if you want. Also, with the frame, you can take away the background too, but I'm not going to do that. So next, you want to control D on the play button. Now, you want to name this options. Options. There we go. Control D again. And now you want to do pat. Notes. Now, now we have to do the scripting. This is where it becomes hard. So now, to the play button, we want to add a local script. So now, I have this little Google Docs with the scripts. They're going to be in the description. So let's copy the play script because I don't want you guys to watch me type it all out. So let's erase let's control v there we go now it should if i'm sure we press play we will now have the menu go away now we want to do the options in the frame you want to add another frame you want to put it in the middle and now also, I'm not going to show you how to make, 
like how to make the um like how to make the settings work i'm just going to show you how to make the uh you know the frame to pop up so here we go let's you want to do the same color but then make it a little darker so next you want to name this settings frame i know it's called options but we have to do it in order for this to work so next you want to add a text label you want it to say options after you do that you want a text scaled rich text and then do a different one i'm gonna use fredoka one because it's a different frame Next, you want to change the color. I'm going to change it to uh, orangish, orangish, reddish. Now, let's change the transparency. And now, do whatever you want, basically. I'm just going to put a text button. I'm just going to put a text button, like, I don't, I don't know. No textures, I guess. Because I'm not going to show you how. To make them work I'm just gonna show you how to like uh, do stuff and make it all so yeah let's do not that that's actually a cool one but Fred Oka one and let's change transparency to one so next you want to get the options you want to add another local script next you want to copy this one uh, all this Next, now you want to control V. <coughs> now you want to make the settings frame <coughs> not visible. You will understand why. Now if I press play, as you can see, if I press options, it opens. As you can see, if I press play, it all goes away. So, if you want to see, like, now we have to do the close button on the options. So, here we go. Up here, this will be the button to close it. So, text scaled this. Let's do X. You don't have to do X, but I'm just going to do X and then uh, you can make the transparency, you can do whatever you want. I'm just going to make it red. Next with this, you want to add a local script. And now you want to copy the close setting script uh, down in the description. There we go. Now, you're done with the settings, or options I should say. You're done with the options, you can close that up, and let's make it invisible. Now, if I press play, if I press play, as you can see, I press options, it opens, if I press this, it closes. Now, if you want to see how to make this more modern, I will show you. So, what you want to do, make it visible again. Uh, skip to the timestamp on your screen if you don't want it to be modern. But yeah, so you want to plus UI corner, where is it, UI corner, there we go, and then the X to leaf, you want it to be UI, UI corner, where did that go, okay, UI corner, there we go, that's how to make it more modern, now you want to close up the frame and then make it invisible. Now, we're going to do the, uh, uh, the patch notes, patch notes frame. Bruh. Okay. Now, you want to scale it like it's a patch notes. Alright, there we go. Now you want to go to the settings frame, you want to get the color, then you want to click on this, 
You want to get the color. Next, you want you want to name you want to name this notes. You want to name this notes frame. I think that's not how you spell frame. Notes frame because it's the patch notes. Next, you want to add a UI corner if you want to make it cool. Uh, let's do text label. Let's say freaking patch notes. Freaking go. Like, so patch notes. Patch note. Notes. Patch note. Let's text scale rich text. So let's make a Fred Oka one. Like the other one. Fred Oka one. There we go. <coughs> now, just make it yellowish. Because, no, that's the background. No. <laughs> we gotta make the, this one, a yellowish. There we go. Now, let's add, you You could do whatever you want in the notes frame. I'm gonna add a text and just say, I don't know, uh, add the, add the, uh, Quindale Dingle next bot. Add the Quindale Dingle next bot. There. That's a good, uh, patch notes. Add a Quindle Dingle next spot. Let's do text scale, rich text, Fredoka one. And now let's do background transparency one. Let's go to the patch note. Let's control C. Now let's control V. There we go. Oh, that's the background. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. Now control V. So now what you want to do is you want to add a, uh, a text button. This time, I'm going to make it be close instead of the X. So close. And now let's do this, let's do this. Oh, let's make it for a red oak one. Okay, sweet. Now let's make the background reddish. Reddish, yeah, that's reddish. That's 100% reddish. Alright, now let's add a UI corner. Oh my god, I'm so done. Next. Alright, now let's add a UI corner to make it nice and modern. And now let's go to the text button. Now, what we gotta do, what we gotta do is we gotta go to the patch notes. So this is where you make the script a little more different. So next you want to get control C. You want to go to here. Instead of having it be settings frame, you want it to be notes frame. So note, notes frame. As you can see, we have notes frame right there. So now it opens the notes frame. Now we gotta add the local script to here to have it close. To have it close the notes frame. There we go. Now if we make the notes frame not visible, we go to home, we go to play. As you see. As you can see, options, opens, patch notes, opens, closes, as you can see, and then play. And that's how to make your own Nico's Next Spots videos. If this helped you, please subscribe, make sure to like the video, and I'll see you in the next video, maybe tutorial. Alright, now, subscribe. Goodbye.